thinks the world's still round. I'm here to tell you it's not. It's flat. Interesting guy, man, and uh, you know, he believes it. So, Kyrie, yeah, the earth is flat, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, whatever. The earth is flat. That's news. That's news. Here we go. <laughs> this is Truth Frequency Radio. The wicked ones, obviously, under heavy, heavy, heavy Masonic <laughs> influence. <laughs> Casting straight to you from a large spaceship, currently anchored over Raleigh, North Carolina, eagerly awaiting the 2017 International Flat Earth Conference, which will be here next week. Meanwhile, the peanut gallery is hovering over New York City, watching the numbers rise and the latest terror attack. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Strange World, where the truth is often stranger than fiction. I'm your host, Mark Sargent, the creator of Flat Earth Clues, which propose that all of us are living inside a Truman Show enclosed structure thousands of miles wide. Check it out at enclosedworld.com or just Google Flat Earth Clues. If you can't find it, you're being distracted by mass media. You don't want to do that. For those of you listening to this on YouTube and you want to hear the show live as it happens, please go to Truth Frequency Radio for the latest schedule. Currently, this show is on Tuesday nights at 7 Pacific, 10 Eastern. And if it is not October 31st, otherwise known as Halloween 2017, then you are not listening to this live, which means you can't call in and talk to me live. You'll just get voicemail and I will listen to it, but it's kind of a toss up whether I'll, I'll call back. I, I get a lot of calls. Quote of the day. The tools of conquest do not necessarily come with bombs and explosions and fallout. There are weapons that are simply thoughts, attitudes, prejudices, to be found only in the minds of men. For the record, prejudices can kill, and suspicion can destroy, and a thoughtless, frightened search for a scapegoat has a fallout all its own. For the children, and the children yet are born. If you can't figure that one out, that's Rod Serling. And I actually did not read that when I pasted that into my sheet. So thank you, Pina Gallery, for sending that one to me because that is one of my all-time favorite quotes from The Twilight Zone uh, from the episode known as The Monsters Are Due on Maple Street, which is a fantastic episode. Uh, let's see. Announcements. The Flat Earth Conference sign up for live streaming. Just go to fe2017.com. I... Because, you know, I'm, I'm playing matchmaker when it comes to tickets. Anyone that needs a ticket, anyone that's trying to get rid of a ticket, I can't make any promises, but I've matched up a, a bunch of people so far. Right now, I have two VIPs. The uh, un Unfortunately, there's a, a couple down in Georgia that couldn't uh, make it. So two VIPs and five general admissions that are out there. So if you want tickets and, you know, the, they're just standard rates. So you have to email me at msergeant23 at comcast.net 
and I will send you the email or I'd, maybe I'll just forward you the email of whoever is selling it and you guys get together and hopefully you can work something out. But you got one week to pull this thing off. It's going to be in Raleigh, so hopefully you can do something with it. We'll see. Jeffrey Grupp debate challenge still in effect. If you don't know what that's about, ask somebody. Big money challenge also still in effect. And and those challenges are for anybody in the science community who thinks they can shoot down flat earth. At this point, honestly, good luck. It's not going to happen. It's way too big a monster with a whole bunch of giant tentacly arms everywhere. It's everywhere. Really, seriously. Oh, but if you want to get in on the big money challenge, contact Kathy Dunson. That's at perilandra77 at gmail.com. That's P-E-R-E-L-A-N-D-R-A 77 at gmail.com. Tonight is a call-in show. And a reminder for next week in advance, and hopefully I'll remember to set the little button here, although I think it'll be fine if I, I don't accidentally. Uh, I will be at the conference this time next week. So there will not be a strange world, a live one next Tuesday. I'll be on my way to Raleigh, North Carolina, and we will follow up with a post-conference show the week after, just to let you guys know in advance. But tonight is a call-in show. Phone number to call in, you can use either, 213-233-3998. That's 213-233-3998. Or one of my favorites, 720-897-6111 which is one of my voicemails, 720-897-6111. If you're in the UK, you can call 44-203-393-2871. And if you want to call and just listen on your phone and and not worry about me picking you up and trying to embarrass you on the air in front of millions of people, uh, that number is 641-793-7117. There you go. How's that? How's that for fun? Uh, and in sharp contrast, I know there's a little bit of a time delay. In sharp contrast to last week, for whatever reason, maybe everyone is everyone distracted with the whole New York City thing. Is that what's happening right now? Because normally I would I would have calls in front of me. Don't make me read emails because I'll do it. Let's see. In fact, let's see what happens when the peanut gallery when I say that. The peanut gallery is probably going to go. No, don't read emails. I don't mind reading emails. I get an unlimited supply. And there's a lot of interesting ones in there. So while we're waiting for the first phone call, you know what? I'm going to read one. Why not? Here we go. First email is going to be from, and I will finish this email before I pick up the call because all calls now go. I don't have to pick them up live. First email is uh, called FYI. Mark, periodically I check comments on two versions I'm aware of of the interview from April 16th. They're always new and interesting contributions. Sometimes an original thought. Recently, there was by far the longest single comment I've ever witnessed on YouTube from a user named Drew. It's poorly written, but it's goddamned authentic. It's 100% flat earth and chilling as hell. A little wordsmith wouldn't disrespect it. Just make it presentable to your audience who might be interested in hearing it. It certainly got my attention. The substance of the interview or content of our character brought this story out of that man, Drew. That's a good thing. This is Drew's untouched, unedited, original comment. Sincerely, oh, uh, sincerely, one of the subject matter experts, uh, Ray Goodwin, the USDA surveyor. And I had not read this yet. Uh, and it is way, way, holy smokes, that thing is long. Uh, so I'm going to have to read this afterwards, but he's talking, I don't know what he's talking about here. You know what? Let's just put that in the get to pile, which I will get to probably not tonight, but later. Phone number to call in, by the way, is 720-897-6111 or 213-233-3998. And hey, You guys, what a difference a a week makes. Again, the combination of one week going by and the New York City thing that's just happened this afternoon. Um, I got no calls at the moment. How's that for fun? Oh, really? Peanut Gallery, you want me to give out the phone number for the UK again? Because you know the last guy that called in from the UK was actually trying to troll me. All right, fine. UK number is 44203-39328. Seven one, and sure enough, there is a call coming in from looks like Washington State, my home state. Let's figure out what's going on with them. You are on live with Strange World two five three area code. What's going on? Hey, Mark and Bill, how are you doing? 
Hey, it's D Marble. What's going on, man? <laughs> Not a whole lot. How you been doing lately, buddy? Getting oh, you know, out here? <laughs> after last week, it's actually been not too bad. Uh, I, you know, in fact, I've been waiting for I, just just for fun. Last night, I created a list, you know, because I've been doing this for a couple of years now. I created a list mm-hmm. of everything that Mark Sargent was or has done. Uh, been accused of over the last couple of years, and it's a very interesting list. But I'm not going to waste it on you. I'm going to wait till some troll calls and and says, "Hey, aren't you Joe? Or aren't you Dennis? Or aren't you all these things?" It's uh, it's amazing right, the, right. The, the things I've been accused of. I by the way, I've been loving the videos that you've been putting out recently, especially your uh, Superman versus Superman versus video. <laughs> I, I decided to change the thumbnail. I thought it was too much ponage out here, so you know, <laughs> I, I want to go with something a little, little, little more subtle. Because I've had people actually make videos and use my uh, likeness for the thumbnail. I didn't appreciate it too much. So even though uh, the the other gentleman, uh, you know, has been um, less than friendly to me in the past, I didn't see a reason to, you know, leave that up. So sure, yeah, I, I decided to change it. Yeah, no, that's good. I mean, I I looked at it. I was going, holy smokes, you know, get D Marble some duct tape because that man is ripped. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's straight up. It was it no, it was great. I I I liked it. I thought it was very well done and not too heavy handed. And I I've been trying to tell people like, look, the intensity as we get closer to the conference, everybody's been feeling it subconsciously. You know, maybe they can't express it, but there's a lot of tension in the air, and I understand it, and it takes on different forms. Some of it's positive, some of it's negative. I'm, you know me, I'm just going to try to keep the glass half full. Absolutely, and that's, that's the way to be, way to be. but, you know, things are just picking up. I'll be, I don't know, breathing a huge sigh of relief when this whole thing's over. But yeah, me, me get, too. Get, 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 get ramped up for FEIC 2018. There you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, it, yeah, it's a week. I'm leaving a week from today, so I'm not doing a strange world next week. And it's going to be, I mean, there's a lot of stuff to do. And uh, I'm just, I'm just excited to meet all the people. I mean, you know, you, you've been to the, the, the Seattle meetups and, and so, some of the ones down in Oregon, and the energy is just through the roof. I can't imagine yeah. what. what I can't imagine putting hundreds and hundreds of people in the same area. What sort of, I, I, it'll be deafening. You know, people will just be so I, jazzed up. I know. I can't wait. Oh, oh, did, did you hear? I'm, I'm the keynote speaker. I did, the wait, did I hear? I, <laughs> I had to, I had to mess stuff around with <laughs> graphics. It's like, holy crap. It's like, Debo. but well, I was very, very happy for you. And I couldn't think of a better person, uh, a better great positive smiling face to to put in front of this thing uh where you know when when we open up again it's like who, who i mean who hates d marble nobody hates d marble so oh a couple people but yeah. well <laughs> yeah but it's not real it, hatred yeah yeah i'm thinking it's something else but it's all good yeah but hey man um hey just wanted to call in and say hey i think you're doing a great job out here i uh, actually had to um you know in dealing with all these, these personal attacks or these fabricated things for you and Patricia, I issued a statement on Facebook you know, along the lines of, you know, if, I, you know, the brief interactions that we've had at these meetups, they're like, hey, you, you've been rubbing elbows with Mark Sargent. I'm like, I've seen the guy twice. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, I, I'm, I'm like, I, I'm, I don't have my van parked at, at Whidbey Island or anything like that, so. You know, um, yeah. just along the lines of you haven't done anything wrong to me, Patricia hasn't done anything wrong to me. Coming from my personal experience, they're both cool. If you have a problem with that, go ahead and unfriend me, and, and we'll go our separate ways. Sure. No, but sure. I, I, I'm an adult, and I can make my own decisions. But I have so many people saying, uh, are you going to distance yourself from Mark Sargent? I'm like, I don't live with Mark Sargent, dude. <laughs> What are you talking about? I know. Yeah. We, we, other than the meetups, we really haven't hung out much. And, you know, you've been doing your thing and I've been doing mine. And uh, like, look, I, I'm, I'm the same way as you are. It's like, less, unless somebody comes at me directly, I give everybody the benefit of the doubt. And in like Eric DeBay's case, I was like, I gave him the benefit of the doubt for 
18 months until finally it's like, okay, enough. I'm tired of you, you know, just saying awful things. I'm done. But, uh, but, but everybody else, I get it. Look, I look, and I don't blame people. Uh, I, it's like the, in the conspiracy world, trust is a tough thing to get. You know, it, you have to, yeah. it's not, it's not even just earning it. You have to, it's, it's a precarious thing. And so I, I, I don't blame people. And well, that's, that's why I made this list of things, you know, for the first troll that calls, because it's like, look, I've been accused. I've had stickers that people have been trying to throw on me since day one and nothing's stuck. So if you want to come up with some new things, Hey, great. I just wish people would be more creative because the stuff they're, they're using right now, I don't know. It's just not that good. <laughs> that's a good attitude to have. You, you guys aren't trying hard enough. You are. It's, it's like, I look, I mean, I can, I, I consider myself a pretty good creative writer and, I could write, you know, even a second or third tier Hollywood writer could come up with better stuff than this. So, you know, right. you know, but anyway, we'll see. Again, I'm not worried. Another week before they get to the conference and then, you know, see, so, you know, just power through it. And, uh, and, and I'm, I, you know, I, th I still think it's going to be great. It's going to be ma great media exposure, lots of fan, fun people there. And I, I can't, you know, can't wait to shake all those hands. Oh, yeah. It's going to be good. I can't wait, to be honest with you. But, hey, man, I'll go ahead and let you get on with the show. Okay. Um, have a fantastic night. And, uh, I'll talk to you later. Shout out to uh, Patricia, who's, who might may or may not be listening. Uh, uh, I think she is. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, you have a good night, man. I'll talk to you later. All right, man. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. All right. Bye. All right. That was Dean Marble. Great first call of the evening and fortuitous because he is going to be the first presenter at the Flat Earth National Conference in Raleigh, North Carolina a week from now. Well, actually a week from Thursday, but I'm, I'm going to be going now or, you know, a week from today and it'll be a, a blast. So you guys really should go. And again, if you need tickets, because this thing is sold out on top of being sold out, uh, obviously, you know, with an event like this, there's always going to be people that just can't go for whatever reason, you know, kid things, family things, dog things, whoever. If you need tickets, email me at msergeant23 at comcast.net and I will put you in touch with people. I'll try to match you up because we don't have an official flat earth ticket hub type thingy anyway let's go to the next one uh this one's gonna be from 864 area code 864 you're on with strange world right now hey mark hi i uh i've been wanting to call in for months now long time ever listening. since the First time calling? Y yes yes okay. actually it, it, it's funny i've been listening to your channel for three months but uh, cool. three years ago I watched the Under Under the Dome documentary, and I did not know that that was you until three months ago. I, you wouldn't be the first. I have had people literally at meetups not know, because remember, it's just my voice. So people, I, I've had people mm -hmm. at meetups that when I when I start talking, it's, oh, yeah, it's Mark Sargent. And all of a sudden, there's like, whoa, 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 you're actually Mark Sargent? It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So if it, and I got to give credit Patricia, to Patricia Steer because if it wasn't for her forcing me on camera, because as you know, DreamWorks still sends me a cease and desist letter literally every single month for uh, trying to do my impression of Shrek, which is just me walking around. Uh, but, but Patricia I, gets me on camera, so at least some people know who I am. Anyway, sorry. Thank you, though. So what uh, – three months. How's it been going? I, good, good. I have uh... – Two two things. I'll start off with the uh, uh, event in New York today. Yeah. Do you do you think something uh, that small is, could be a false flag? Sure. Well, what's the well? What's the death toll up to right now? And I'm not trying to be morbid. I uh, last I heard eight. Yeah, um, I think maybe it's a twelve injured. Tw yeah, it, it could be. Sure, a little small one because remember, in a city like that. It ripples pretty. The, the ripples are amplified. Uh, Peanut Gallery says, "Yeah, eight, eight, eight did some twelve hundred. Uh, it, it, the it's amplified. So everybody's kind of high strung in New York anyway. You remember the whole nine eleven thing. So oh, yeah. with with this, yeah, sure, it could be it could be a little small flat. I mean, it's minor. I mean, honestly, you know, compared to Vegas, 
it's it's tiny by comparison, but it's on the other end of the country and it's in New York and anything that is in New York is a big deal. Plus, you know, the was it the mayor or the the governor immediately said that, oh, yeah, you know, we blame terrorists. We don't know anything about the suspect. Only that we shot and he lived, which is does go against normal protocols because normally if you you know the word is that he gets shot normally he's killed right police killed the suspect but and and the early reports that i saw and i don't want to dwell on on too many of the details were that he was brandishing fake weaponry which i thought was interesting because i'm one of the few people that actually knows what a replica firearm is you know guns that that are absolutely use all the major parts of a normal firearm but they without the firing pin and the barrels plugged up so anyway, thought it was interesting, but yeah, it could be. Okay, and uh, ever since the eclipse, uh, yeah. smarter every day, uh, capturing that ISS transit mm-hmm. across the sun. Mm-hmm. I, I've I've really really been wondering and trying to figure out what exactly that is, and then uh, this week, Red's rhetoric did the same thing. Oh, uh, sure. Not during the solar eclipse, obviously. Oh no, I mean, but it, uh, he. And and they're not the only ones to to say that there's something flying up there, and and lots of people said, oh yeah, the ISS is you know there's something up there transiting that looks like could be a space station. No question, I, I'm not going to even really debate that. I'm not going to say oh it's not there. I'm saying whatever whatever is flying above us, there's no people on it, and there never has been. Meaning it's it's being it's could it be a projection? Yes. Could it be a high altitude U2 spy plane with some special tech on it? Sure. Why not? Uh, it's moving a little fast to be a balloon. I, 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 I agree as well. Is there something up there? Yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I have one one, one of my theories of what what it could be. Mm-hmm. If, if the powers would be understood that we are in an enclosed earth um, within the last you know, 60 years, they probably would have figured out exactly how the sun and moon work. Maybe, maybe not. Mm-hmm. Do you think maybe the ISS, is, they, they have created the ISS and it's using the same exact quote unquote, quote unquote technology to quote unquote orbit the earth. And it's the ISS is, is going around the earth just like the moon and the sun. There's no people in it. I don't think there's any people in it. But it's using... But do you think it could be it's basically using the, whatever the sun and moon, uh, the, the same power that the sun and moon use Some, to go around. I, and that would be, yeah. What and what you're saying there is something that was suggested to me some some months ago, which was if there was an area above us that gravity was weakened to the point where you could actually hang some, something up there. Not necessarily Hank. Yes, I know. Peanut Gallery was the, the one that suggested that to me, and he's going, "Ding, ding! Give that man a prize," because <laughs> you're the first person outside of him to actually suggest this. But but it's not bad. I I you know. But what's the difference? At that point, we're kind of splitting hairs, because if I say that it's a it's a modified big you know oversized U two spy plane with advanced tech on it. And you say that it's a kind of an ISS looking thing that's being suspended in sort of a pseudo gravity area. Yeah, I, both could be very well be possible. Uh, but yeah, yeah, and I'm impressed because, again, outside of him, you're the first person. That's why he's so excited and actually capitalized ding ding in my. Uh, in yeah, my... And, the, and the only thing that, that made me so curious was. They uh, both videos. Uh, I would say smarter every day had a little better quality. It looked exactly like the ISS. They did. Well, however, they're faking it. They're doing a damn good job. Oh, sure, so sure. That, that that's what made me dig into it. And why uh, not? And and I, I there's, there's as as you know, I appreciate ahead. smarter every day because they even though he's not a flat earther, he basically destroyed the entire myth of drains going clockwise versus counterclockwise northern and southern hemispheres. He oh, did yeah. that he did oh, that yeah, he did. That, that fantastic test. I mean, so detailed and so perfect. Uh, any scientist would have been proud of it. And he's like and he comes back and says, Look, I don't know what everyone's talking about because that drain thing, pff, I don't see it. And I would I would take his word for it. So if he if he's got you know I may have to revisit some of his shots of the ISS. You know there could be something up there that. But as far as convincing people, as you know, you know it's not hard to fake nowadays. It's not hard to fake even some of the best stuff. Uh, it's just a question of how lazy they get. So yeah, I'll I'll, I'll revisit revisit the uh, the ISS footage. Sure. 
right. Well, it was nice talking to you, and I hope you hey. definitely call in again. Call in again. Geez, you only waited three months. Come on. I, do, do you ever hear me embarrass anyone on this show? It's not like it's like, oh, why it are you calling me? Even trolls I'm fairly nice to. And right. unfortunately, I will I will not be at the, uh, at conference, the conference. But uh, good fine. luck and and have a good time. Thank you, man. Hey, you have a good night. You too. Okay. Bye bye. All right. Uh, let's move on. We got three minutes of the break. Let's pick up California nine two five area code nine two five area code. You got three minutes till we're going to the break. Nine two five. California. Got to be listening. Got to take your phone off mute. Five seconds, California. Four, three. California, two, one. I can't hear him. Sorry, California. I had to I had to drop you. Okay, uh, let's do Texas. Two five four. Two five four. Area code. You are on live with Strange World right now. What's up, Mark? Shannon here. Hey, you got two minutes. Unfortunately, till we go to break. What uh, What's on your mind? Oh, man, that's so short. I'm but sorry. N- nothing, nothing, not much really on my mind. Just wanted to say hi. Well, it's probably good that we got we have a short call. What's, uh, <laughs> how, how, how's your week been? Let's just do small talk. It it was too short. It's always too short. You know that. Yeah. No. But, you know, everybody's talking about all this stuff, and it's just such crap because, People, I, I know. It, it doesn't matter. I know. People love drama. They do. People crave it. I mean, look at all the reality shows we have on television right now. And reality shows, as you know, unless they have drama built into them, are really, really boring. I don't watch reality shows personally, but I know. I know what you're saying. It's okay. I don't. You know? I don't watch them either. I mean, I'm not a TV. I, I do like watching TV, but as far as all that, like. Survivor and all that kind of crap, you know. I, I'm not into that. Yeah. yeah and yeah. but you know, it's a very strange world we live in. Mmm. I like that word. And it's smaller than <laughs> we think. Agreed. But it's more intimate also. It's like a cozy one-room apartment. Hey, uh, any shout-outs? Because we're going to be heading out here in, I don't know, less than 20 seconds. What do you got? Well, you know, I always shout-out my husband because he woke me up. Nice. My son because he woke up. Cool. And you. And I, I really like Patricia here. And I always have to give out flat out leg because he, he's on the right path, dude. We need nice. to all look into him. Nice. All right, we're going to music. Thank you very, very much for calling. Hey, call. We are TFR. My faith in destiny is all I need to prevail. Truth Frequency Radio. Welcome back to Strange World, part two of four. It's call-in show. Phone number is 213-233-3998 or 720-897-6111. Uh, yeah, now we got calls backed up. Uh, first one we're going to grab is 510, then hopefully we'll grab 980, and then we'll see what happens after that. It really depends. I'm kind of curious what uh, 925 is doing. Maybe he's just listening. But, you know, when you call in, we got a separate number for that. If you want to call in and just listen, not talk to me, which is fine. I won't be completely hurt. The phone number is 641-793-7117. But that's okay. I got an eye on you there, California, whoever you are. Uh, Let's do 510 area code. 510, you're on live with Strange World right now. Mark, Mark, what's going on? Can you hear me? Hey, I know you. What's going on, man? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, man, everything is good. Uh, I'm, uh, 
I'm going to be very, very short. I'm in between uh, pickup routes, but I just wanted to let you know that I got uh, officially got my plane ticket. Right on. Cool. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I, I you're really you're all set to go yeah, for the, the Raleigh Conference, and I'm looking forward to meeting you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Likewise. Likewise. The feeling is with you. So, yeah, I just want to let you know that I'll be flying out Wednesday. I'll uh, be making it in uh, Thursday morning around, I think around 6 o'clock. But, yeah, I'll, I'll be there. Cool. I can't wait, man. And there'll be a lot of people, I'm sure, that'll be happy to see you. That's it. That's it. That's it. Well, I, I don't want to hold up the line. I'm about to get ready to pull into my third stop right now. Keep it flat. Uh, all right, man. See ya. All right. All right peace. Bye bye. All right. Uh, that man is going to the conference. Very happy for him. And here's another person that might be going to the conference. Nine eight zero area code. Nine eight zero. All right. Let's hear it. Hello. <laughs> I heard you tell a lie, so I had to call you out on it. <laughs> I told a lie. What do you I... told that man? You have never embarrassed anybody on your show. <laughs> Okay. All right. Not only me. Well, only you, but that honestly, come on, you, (laughs) that's, I never do anything malicious, meaning I would never do anything deliberately to try to hurt somebody's feelings now. And I know that sounds really wimpy where it's like, it's like, holy smokes, this guy's a pansy. Uh, but no, that's because I believe in karma and I believe in the system. And I do not think for a second that you should do anything like that. And it goes all the way from the top. Don't commit hate crimes all the way down to probably shouldn't shoplift. So anyway, no, I wasn't telling a lie. I, you know me. If I thought I was actually hurting you in some way, I, I would be horrified. So I wouldn't do it. I was kidding. Well, no, it's okay. So I, do you, do you think while, that was, um... Go ahead. No, go, go, go. Well, no, every <laughs> once in a while, I'll, I'll say something to somebody, and then they'll say, oh, you know, they'll take it the wrong way, which is why one of the reasons I do not text if I can help it, because uh, you know you lose so much in the translation, and it's like, oh, you know, they take it the wrong way. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa! I totally didn't mean it that way. I mean, there's a reason why emoticons were created. It's because the text just do, doesn't do it justice. And by the way, there's a quote from the Peanut Gallery just for you. Goes, okay. a little, goes a little something like this: "Be weary of the light at the end of the tunnel. It could be a train." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Uh, <laughs> okay, so what do you think about Wendy Williams? Do you think they shot her down for a subliminal thing? Wendy Williams. Um, she was on stage just as the Statue of Liberty today, and it looked like she got hit with some directed energy, and that was right before that quote-unquote terrorist attack in New York. I, I have not heard this. I have been, I, unfortunately, I've been tied up doing other things, so I'm relying on people like you to to give me the details. So I'm you have to forgive me. Wendy Williams is who again? A singer? She is. She has a talk show. She's the girl, the, the one with the big boobs. Oh well, that narrows it down. Come on. <laughs> well, I mean, it boobs. does. Oh, it's... Well, you got you got ready. You got these TV talk show hosts. Okay, one's Ellen. That rolls her. Oh, I mean, Wendy we, Williams. Oh, but she's... <laughs> is she is she black? Yeah. Yeah. She used oh, okay. to have a radio show. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll look her up. I probably would recognize her, I suppose. But anyway, so she fell off stage, or you think she was smacked off stage? or? Yeah, she said, you know, they say that it's like a, a burst of heat. And she said she got too hot in her costume, but it looked like something. She was running from something, and then she fell and passed out on the stage. Oof. Hope she's okay. Oh, Kind of fact- like what happened to Katy Perry. Peanut, Peanut Gallery just sent me the link, which goes, uh, let's see here. Wendy Williams faints on live TV. Oh, yeah, I recognize her. I'm not like a huge fan. I don't hate her. I just I don't follow her. Uh, she I don't watch suffered any of those people. a scary fall Anymore. on her Halloween show. Hear her explain how she passed out. Well, I'd love to listen to this right now, but unfortunately, I can't. All right, I'll, I'll check that out. Thank you. Thank you for that. She what basically else is... said that she got too hot in her costume. Hmm. But it's mm. kind of, I don't know. I think it, I mean, it's a, I don't believe in coincidence. So, oh, I, I mean, don't. She was dressed as a Statue of Liberty. I don't either. Did you see, by the way, the directed energy weapon videos that have been circula- circulating today? I have. The, the uh, little, I was, see, I, little, 
I know I told you that I would be here at 10, but I, I, I came at 1020 because I started watching that stuff. Uh, Black Child Productions, he, he, has, he makes some pretty good videos. He, I watched his video, and he included some of those videos in that video about Wendy Williams. Oh, all right. All right. That's really cool. Yeah, I'll check it out. It's a, it's a busy day. And again, Halloween. You know, I keep forgetting today's it's, Halloween. Yeah, it's Halloween. It's a Halloween show. So, yeah, there's people out there doing trick-or-treating with their kids. They're doing Halloween parties. You know, I don't know if people still bob for apples and do all the other crap, but you never know. I know that really oh, Man, that was apples that they bob for. But... <laughs> <laughs> Cracking yourself up, aren't you? It's good. So you excited about the, uh, uh, Raleigh next week? Getting pumped? Uh, you know, I was. I was. And it's like I'm getting less excited more and more by the minute. Oh, because but, you're, worried, you're worried the energy is getting too amped up that it could get could get crazy? I just think that everything, yeah. I, no, I don't know. It's not even that. It's just, hey, on, it's just hey. some other stuff that. Oh, okay. Got me. Got it. Got it. Got it. But yeah, I'm excited for some parts of it. Yeah. Like, I'm excited to meet you. And of course, I want to see Mark again. I can't wait to hang out with Mark. I, it's going to be it's going to be a blast. Hey, you know, there's there's a lot of people. It, I, I can imagine everybody's going to go to every session and there's going to be people milling around. And I, I hear how the hotel's set up. It's it's easy to it's for people to mingle and do things. And after the things I've heard lately, there's a lot I'm not going to be going to. <laughs> Well, so I, I, I'm, I'm going to meet the people. I'm not going to see most of the presentations. Well, basically. now, now, now. Of course, I want to see D Marble. I want to see you and Patricia. And well, at the very my least, my list is kind of short. <laughs> at, at the very and hey, look, there's something for everybody. At the very least, you don't want to miss the award show at the very end. Of course. Because I, I'm That'll actually thinking cool. of actually drinking on that one. Even though drinks don't really <laughs> affect me as much, I'm thinking of actually bringing some drinks. I mean, look, I'm dressed up. You know, everybody's, you know, there's going to be people dressed up in the audience. We're giving out awards. Why not? It's sort of like a, a casual version of the Emmys type thing. That would be fun. Yeah. Yeah. We're giving out 30, uh, 30 little trophies and, and great fun little categories that were picked by the chat rooms that we uh, solicited for a while. And it's it should be a good time. So, anyway. Yeah, I can't wait, really. I mean, it's like... For the last, what, um, 10 months or so, I've been so excited. It hasn't been 10 months, eight, six months. It's uh, been a long time. It was, it was the end of Feb. Well, the, the trailer that I'm releasing this week, and remember, I started releasing trailers right away. Uh, it will be the 39th week, the 39th trailer. So, yeah, it's a long About time. Six months. Yeah. yeah. I remember in the beginning when, when you kind of hinted off that there was going to be something. And then when I called from North Carolina, I just knew that there was going to be something here. And I've been so excited ever since then, like, except for like the last week or two. It's just been like, God. Yeah. Come well, on. It, but, but it's, it, it's going to happen. It, wow. Hang on. I just sneezed. Bless you. Holy smokes. I dropped everything. I sneezed and my headphones fell off. The microphone fell off. It was horrible. I don't think I've ever done that. <laughs> The um, uh, where is I going with this? Uh, but again, it, it's it's it, that's how it works. I mean, the remember the energy is being compressed, and everybody, you know, subconsciously they feel it. The the people on the outside, people on the inside, uh, it's it's gonna. I I saw this coming. So when we when we get there, yeah, you know, like D Marble says, like that would be great when it's over. <laughs> it's like I know. Yeah. Up, up until then, you know, where everyone's just. But it, remember, this is this is a really unique thing. Remember, this event, and I'll say this during the conference when I, when I'm up there, like this has never happened in the history of the United States ever. You know, right. the, the United States is as of this year, uh, 241 years old. 241 years, never has this happened in the in this country. Yeah, we, we, and we we did this, and not only are we doing in this in any country. Not, well, yeah, in any country. Well, actually, I think the Netherlands kind of did a little a smaller version of this, but it wasn't definitely like this. This is definitely the first one of this type. And it's not like it's unwarranted as well. It's not like we're going, it's like, should we do a conference or should we do a conference? It's like, oh, no, we're absolutely doing one. And then Britain's going to do one and Australia's going to do one. And, you know, there's so many people that are out there uh, just getting so charged up. So we're we're on the the cutting edge of something that could be monumental. 
The only question is, will it be a wonderful, beautiful thing, or will it turn into the most horrible nightmare <laughs> ever? It's going to be wonderful. Don't even suggest that it won't I, I be. I know, I know. You know me. <laughs> it's like it's gonna be. It's gonna be beautiful and unicorns and puppies and and sun rays <laughs> and and I'm all, flying happy, in on a unicorn and happy. Sun. <laughs> well, it might seem like that depending <laughs> on what you take before you get on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> and it even has a flat earth license plate on its ass. <laughs> nice. Nice. I, I, I can I can resemble that. I know exactly what that is. <laughs> All right, you. Um I, I'd love to I'd love to stay and talk at the peanut gallery saying, get rid of her. My God, Mark. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Bye. No, 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 no. Any shout outs? <laughs> Jeez, killing me. I mean if I have if I was to give a shout out, I would be here ten more minutes. I just love everybody no matter what is going on out there keep your keep your keep the people that you follow in in good mind because you need everybody needs to start researching things before they make claims on people really that's all i got to say yeah 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 all right man well hey uh it was lovely speaking with you and we will probably run into each other in chat before i head out next week so possibly possibly maybe guess i'll talk to you sometime (laughs) i'm sure we'll run into each other more than once and and remember you know get camera ready because when people say who should we interview is the most excited person here i go well it's probably the one that's vibrating into another dimension over there six (laughs) shades of purple and pink and you hear like it sounds like a smoke alarm that that with an with the wrong size of battery in it it's probably can't. <laughs> oh, that's the best explanation I've ever had. <laughs> most, people say, <laughs> most people say, most people say I'm like a walking highlighter. <laughs> yeah, uh, I well, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens. Anyway, hey, you have, a, you have a good rest of your Halloween. We'll talk soon, okay? Bye bye. Okay, bye bye. All right, let's grab. We're gonna grab seven one four. And then we're going to grab 360, I think, which is actually also in my neck of the woods. But let's grab 71. Hang on. I got really everything refresh. Uh, let's, yeah, it's California. 714 area code. You're on with Strange World. Hey. Hey. Hey, Mark. It's Jack from Pasadena. We met at the Flat Earth meetup. Hey. I gave, I gave you that wine. How's it going? With the and of course it's going well uh, with the Jack like the jumping jacks logo very clever on the on the label. Yeah, thanks, man. Did you guys you guys drink it? You and Josh? Uh, well, Josh drank it. I unfortunately I, I I was going to drink it. I'm gonna have to drink it next time. I had to get on a plane and unfortunately I was oh, giving yeah, it. Right. I was giving a big. Well, hey, so um, hey, oh, sorry, well, was it the flat earth? We had one in uh, Irvine a couple of days ago on Sunday. Did oh, you hear how- about that? No, no, no. It was I, great. There was a bunch of us there. It's probably 15 people, same place we had last time at the Irvine Spectrum, just nice. in Orange County. Nice. So like 15 of us. It was good. Cool. The next time, we we'll need to let you know so you can blast it. I, yeah, definitely. I, as you know, I, I do. In fact, I did two or three trailers this week, two for Colorado and one for Manchester, England. But yeah, anyone ever wants to do a meetup, and they just don't want to make their own video and they want some exposure on YouTube, just send me the details. Just say where you're going to be, who should I contact, and I'll fill in the rest with some funky music and some standard issue pictures, and we'll go from there. So I Yeah, there's a lot I, of us from – same people from Pasadena were there too. So Oh, that sounds fun. The Pasadena meetup was, was yeah, such was a blast. I was, I was so glad I got to meet everybody, including you. Yeah, it was a pleasure. Well, uh, great luck with the show or the conference next week or whenever it is. And I uh, wish I was there, but that's all right. Time. Well, it'll it'll be streaming, and I'm sure there will be a ton of people doing YouTube vids on this. So, and it's it's actually week. Oh from... yeah, so you will you will be streaming it. That'll be great. Yeah, yeah. There, every well, a bunch of people are probably going to be doing amateur streaming, but they're also going to be doing professional streaming with multiple cameras. And I think they're selling that for like fifteen bucks or something like that. To to for anyone okay. that wants it. But but it, there's gonna be it's gonna be there's gonna be a ton of coverage there, and uh, yeah, I get re-uploaded. Oh yeah, yeah you'll yeah. end up uploading it eventually. 
Oh yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah. Whatever. I'll I'll start doing mashups almost immediately once I get from, from other people there. But it's going to be. I mean, not only are there are multiple documentary teams showing up there. Uh, we just got and like German television showing up. Uh, uh, Howard Stern is sending a a team down that just got confirmed a couple days ago. So it's like, wow, cool. Well, yeah. that's great. Didn't they? I think they interviewed FEA like once, and then they never. No, no, they, it. they didn't interview him. They were supposed to interview him, and something happened, and they, they never called him or something. Man. It never, it never materialized. Uh, I, we were waiting for it because that it, we we heard the rumors that it was it was it was in the works, and then we, right because I absolutely are you kidding I would have I would have mirrored that thing in two seconds. So oh, but, I know. Well, they, I think they called him, and then they just like did like a pre question thing, and then oh, they got it, got it. Yeah. But anyway. anyway. Cool. Well, that'll be cool. Howard's people at least to get some exposure that way too. That'll be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Looking. Looking forward. But I'm to looking it. forward to watching it live as it's happening. So thanks yeah. for that. And if, uh, if um if you any more details on that, uh, go to uh, fe2017.com mm-hmm. and it'll it'll give you the link for that. I would trust that more than I would amateurs anyway because you know mm-hmm. the, the 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 professional stream is going to be static cameras in multiple angles. And I don't know who's going to be doing the production side, whether, you know, camera one, camera two, that sort of thing. But, right. No, that'd be good. Yeah. should be fun. All right. FG 2017. All right. I'll check it out. All right, man. Thanks, bud. Have a good one. All, All right. right. Talk to you soon. I'll continue listening to the show, but I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. Uh, we got nine minutes to the break. Let's pick up three, six, zero area code three, six, zero. You're on a strange world. And I think you're pretty close. Yeah, hey Mark, it's uh, Dan, Ballet Music Journey. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> are oh, you? Are, I finally. Are, are you back? Are you finally are you... Uh, watched your show live instead of? I mean, listen to your show live. Yeah, I'm back for a little bit. Oh, cool. Cool. That's that's awesome. Yeah. So what uh, what's on your mind? Yeah. Uh, oh, just uh, giving you a shout out, and uh, I was just wondering how you're avoiding uh, the trick or treaters. Are you uh, in a basement? You know, with all the windows covered. <laughs> well, you got to remember the south end is not the same as the north end of the island. Uh, I'm talking to oh. a man here, by the way, that's on the north end of Whidbey Island. The, the Whidbey is really long and skinny, but the population centers are concentrated on the south end, where there's a ferry. And then the north end where there's a bridge and where you are, uh, you know, up, up near the Navy base, uh, there's a lot more people. And and on, and and on top of that, and you know this more than anybody, a lot of kids because the Navy wives yeah. are, you know, there's a lot of young kids. Yeah, there. <laughs> so, yeah there's younger, uh, younger crowd up here. Yeah. Yeah. So they're they're scouring the neighborhoods. Plus, it's a beautiful day here in, in the northwest. Surprisingly, normally during Halloween, it's windy and rainy. And nobody wants to go out. Uh, and it was a beautiful day. So no, I no trick or treaters. But I, for some reason, I've I've had to avoid them not deliberately. When I was over in Colorado, I lived in an apartment building where the kids never came because there was in, sealed off interior hallways and parents didn't trust them. Oh yeah. And then I then I lived on a street that didn't have a lot of street lights after that, and ki- and it was not like the high profile trick. It's trick or is not what it used to be. Like like where you and I were growing up. Where you know, oh, yeah, right. it, they're deprived now. Uh, they, oh. You know, the big controversy when we were kids was, uh, hey, the apple, watch oh, yeah. out if you get yeah, an apple ra- for someone, it might have a razor apple. blade in it. The myth, yeah, the razor blade yeah. and the apple. Of course, they put that in one of the movies. Uh, but yeah, yeah. now well, I'm they... just wondering what you think about the pilots. Do you think the pilots are going to start coming out more? We've had a couple more. You, you uploaded one with KLM. Uh, excuse um, me, I, I didn't mean to say the name of it, but no, okay. whatever name it was, an airline in Europe. Um, uh, I would hope so, but that was, we don't, that was we don't your need, interview, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was my interview. We don't need that many more to to get our point across. I mean, I've done a bunch of pilots already. Uh, it'd be nice, but at the same time, I don't want to get people in trouble. In her case, yeah, she wa- you know she wanted to put herself out there, and she's it, I, I appreciate the the bravery uh, on her part. We'll we'll see. I'm, mm-hmm. but at the same time, pilots are pilots, and uh, you know, a little goes a long way. So I'm I'm hoping that we get more just subject matter experts in general. I'm working with actually a few yeah, more. Yeah, I've been fishing around with the pilots, you know, but I I don't you know come right out and say it except for with one I did try, yeah. and uh, you know it didn't go that well. Uh, his wife said, "You're 
just into these. It's a waste of time being into these crazy conspiracy theories. She says, <laughs> and but he he gave me this look, and he looked up, and he he kind of said something like, "Well, uh, he he def, he he diffracted the the conversation, of course, yeah. but uh, he gave me a look like, you know what? He kind of knew, but he's under contract. He's not going to say anything. Sure. Hey, so. trick or treat, guys. <laughs> On the air, we have two I, scary, very scary of, guys. What are they wearing? Zombie outfits. Thanks. Happy Halloween. I'm not sure. I think it's from one of those movies that I'm afraid to watch. What are your costumes from? Uh, Hollywood and Dead. It's a band. Yeah, it's a band. Hollywood and Dead. Yeah. Oh, Hollywood I'll look it up. Thank you. Yeah. Take care. So, so you got to listen to the kids. So you don't learn anything, well, Mark. Yeah, apparently, so. Hollywood and Dead. And I'm usually up on that sort of stuff. Peanut Gallery said, mm -hmm. what about the Smurfs? It's well, like, these no. kids are about 17. I think they're a little bit old to be trick-or-treating. <laughs> kind of scary. Hmm. Yeah. 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 Anyway, sorry. Go ahead and finish uh, your what you're saying about Hollywood. Oh no, you know no. most of the movies. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, ho I, I know most of the movies, but you know, horror movies was never my thing. I mean, the '80s, of course, you knew. You know, Friday the Thirteenth and um, Nightmare on Elm Street and Halloween and you know how many re remakes of those they did. Mm -hmm. uh, but after that, I was like, yeah, like I never got into Saw or Scream. I, or I know what you did last summer, or all, all those. I mean, I, I've watched them, but I, you know, didn't really spend that much time. I didn't go. I didn't never saw them in the theater, because it just wasn't my. Oh, I, right. was, I was I was a science fiction guy. So. Yeah. Oh, one more thing about the uh, airlines. So my last flight from uh, Bali, I went through Hong Kong on Cathay Pacific. Yeah. And actually, it was a code share with American Airlines. So I'm. I think it was American Airlines uh, plane, and uh, I I did take a lot of pictures and videos of that screen in front of your seat that's uh, telling you how you're flying over basically yeah. Alaska and coming down the Washington coastline, and wow, what an extensive journey, you know, to get between A and B. We go, I guess... Um, and they say it's because, well, we need to fly near the land, that's what they say. Whatever. We have to fly near some kind of a thing... But uh, I don't buy it. Why, yeah, why would planes need to fly near land? Why, that would that would imply that you have no faith in the technology, and and that's not. Yeah, well, true. it's something why? about being within feeling distance. I don't know uh, right. in emergencies. Yeah. But yeah. I, anyway, yeah, I appreciate your work, Mark. But yeah, sometime I'll uh, look forward to talking to you. And okay. I think this convention, you know, I think it's going to blow over all this stuff and. It's oh, going yeah. to be uh, well taken, and you're going to get a lot of great coverage and help the movement to bring truth in this area. I certainly hope so. I mean, we're we're due about now. I've put in all the legwork that I that I can so far, and I I'm hoping that this is the big payoff. Yeah, sounds good. Well, we'll just talk when you get back some time then. All right, man. Hey, you have a good rest of your evening, yeah. and uh, uh, remember if the Halloween people you know the trick-or-treaters look like home invasion yeah just throw the candy yeah, exactly. right and close the door that's all i'm saying yeah okay. got it okay take care brother all right bye-bye bye -bye. all right uh let's see here phone number to call in is 720-897-6111 or 233-3998. Let's grab. We got two minutes to the break, and whoever will pick up here, maybe we'll we'll continue on through the break. But it's gonna be 612 area code. 612, are you there? Yes, I am. Wesley Stage Gladder News Talk. Wait for it. Uh, Wesley Flatter News. Oh. Following the script as usual, thank you. What what is going on, Wes from Flat Earth News? And and if you want to stay through the if you want to stay with the break through the break, you can because you only got like sixty seconds before the music kicks in. All right, yeah, no problem. We'll just so stop what, talking when the music yeah yeah. So what? Yeah, uh, or, or you can try, try to sing. No, don't do that. Maybe. No, stepping out. No, it's probably not going to happen. But uh, no, what's? No, no. Oh my God. Uh, uh, when uh, Candy called in, my brain started to hurt. I don't know if anyone else got that sensation. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she talks so damn fast, and you're like, wait a minute, what did she just say? 
Love you, Candy. Just have to throw that out. Nice. Uh, Nice. That's awesome. Uh, by the way, hang on. Before before we go to uh, before we get a break, the um, the quote from Peanut Gallery for you is: "An invasion of armies can be resisted, but not an idea whose time has come." That's from Victor Hugo. So stay with us three minutes. Go. We'll be right back. Cool. I hope you're well. Spotlight. You must unite what has been set aside. We are TFR. Truth Frequency Radio. Welcome back to Strange World, part three of four. It's a call-in show, so it is 720-897-6111. That is 720-897-6111 or 213-233-3998. And we've got Wes from Flat Earth News. Before I pick him up, I have to mention that I believe tomorrow is Wednesday, November 1st, which means that I'm going to be on Flat Earth and Other Hot Potatoes on YouTube with Patricia Steer, which should be a lot of fun. It's the secret show, so check it out on Flat Earth and Other Hot Potatoes. In fact, you can just type in, I've, I found that if you just go into YouTube, type in Flat Earth Potatoes, it'll take you there. So let's get Wes for a couple more minutes and move on to New York probably after that. Wes, are you still there? Okay, yes, and we're back. With the uh, West Day show. <laughs> Thank you. You're going to try to common, yeah. commandeer this? Yeah, yeah, I had to do it. Had to do mm. it. Um, I do it on Mark's show, or, or Zulu's show. Mm -hmm. I got to do it on yours, too, every now and then. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, anyhow, back to everything that's been going on mm -hmm. with um, them just kind of attacking you and, uh, and uh, Patricia. Yeah. Now, it happened once before. Actually, it's had more than more than once, but uh, the big one last time that happened, uh, Mark and I, uh, Zulu One had uh, uh, did a did a hangout, and it's funny because we both almost verbatim had had mentioned to people, it's like, wait a minute, where where is the motivation to deceive it? I mean, you know, when you when you look back at everything that you've done. It's like, oh yeah, we're bringing flatter to the table and this and that, and yeah. But yet, there's no. Um, uh, no, I, I, how, I, how I, I know, no, I know you where know? you're going. This, where does, where does the the path, where does, where do I go off road when I leave the highway? Yeah, where's the, the deception? Right? Yeah, where's, where's the deception? The deception? And, and, and you're absolutely right. And thank there. you for saying that. Which is, look, I, my body of work speaks for myself, and I've mentioned this many times in the past and that is we've all everybody in the flatters community is a conspiracy person uh, you know died in the wool most of them to to where they can see if somebody all of a sudden just veers off the rails and you know every once in a while someone will do it but you can really tell when it happens when they all of a sudden just go in a, in a completely different direction but even the people that have turned kind of trollish they're not going against – most of them aren't going against Flat Earth. They're just doing their own thing. And with me, I, look, I've stayed the course. I do – you know, how many – what, what episode is this? 126? 120? I think it's 126. I've done 140 interviews. I've you know, done all sorts of fun things. 
And I've never wavered from my initial position. So if you think I'm taking Flat Earth in another direction, I'd love to hear what direction that is. So yeah, thank you. Exactly. That, that's, that's the whole point of, of what, what I'm trying to get across to people is that uh, where is that deception? Yeah. I mean, I haven't found it. My, I mean, uh, yeah, we opened. So, so we went through the, uh, the, the website thing and the app and all this stuff. I mean, hey, don't add, don't download the app if you think it's a spy tool. Oh yeah, don't, yeah. Don't, yeah. I mean, and and by the way, that app is only like one of three. There's like three different Mark Sargent apps that are out there. That was just the only one that I actually knew the the guy. Other people have asked me. Basically, anybody that emailed me and they said, "Hey, can we use your image in something?" I said, "Sure, go ahead." Well, why not? Use you know you have my permission. Go run with it. I don't care. I mean, I gave away millions of hits and YouTube videos, and if somebody wanted to use my stuff for other things, I mean the the t-shirts, you know, we are Mark Sargent. Those horrifying t-shirts that are out there. I don't make a nickel off of those. People are selling those, and if it turns out to be a huge moneymaker, I'll end up like Leonard Nimoy one day, where all of a sudden he saw himself on a billboard. It's like, wait, how did that happen? You know, and wait, who's getting paid for that? I. I'm, for me, it's it's about the community. It's not about me. It's about everybody else that's listening out there and all the people that are being woken up day after day. That's what I get out of it. Uh, you know, an extra right. paycheck here and there, not going to, you know, doesn't make my existence. It's about changing people's lives. So, sorry, that's my little exactly. rant. Exactly. I mean, even when you were talking about the T-shirts and not making dick on it, I mean, look at look at what D. Marble just put out. I mean, yeah. he just all of a sudden, he's like, you know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna drop it all the way down to to nothing. I make dick on it, right? Which uh, which I thought was a pretty admirable thing. Yeah. I know he wasn't making a lot on it. I mean, uh, I know because I ran. You know, uh, you even mentioned it on your show a few times when I started my own website called uh, Flatter's Products. Sure, I was making if, if if I sold anything, I made twelve cents. There you I go. I mean, it was it was ridiculous. I mean, it, it's amazing how these companies get away with this crap yeah. to where you don't, you can't raise the price any more than what they got it at because oh. it's so damn expensive in the first place. Somebody had mentioned, well, uh, m several people have mentioned over the months. It's like, it's, Jaron is like probably the best, best example where he said, look, you don't go into flat earth to make money generally. Uh, and if you do, it's, it's a silly idea. Um, look at the people, uh, Patricia Steer would be a perfect example. She, if she wanted to make money on YouTube, Flat Earth is probably the last choice. She could do makeup tips for women over 40 and crush it. She could do millions and millions of hits, turn super chat, and people would just eat that up. And and it wouldn't be because of her, her yeah, her makeup skills are outstanding. But she's she's you know how it is, like with models and everything else. Look, her bone structure lends to absolutely flawless makeup application. Whereas most people, they you know, she has the genetic lottery when it comes to that. So if she wanted to do YouTube and do that, she could do that all day long and she would have massive, a huge amount of fans. Uh, but right. it, so why is she doing Flat Earth? To, you know, somebody explain that to me. You know, why, you know, if she's doing, if she's in it for the money, if she's in it to do something, it's like, oh, no, she's an agent. I'm just going, come on, man. She's not an agent. I'm not an exactly. agent. And, and I'm, by the way, I'm still waiting for a troll to call me so I can actually read over the list. Otherwise, I'm going to read it at the convention, or I still may really read it anyway, of the collection of things that I've been accused of in, in two years. It's amazing, the, the, the diversity of things that I've been accused of. So, Right, any. exactly. You know, with what uh, uh, Patricia is doing and, and what you are doing, I, don't, I still, I still I don't... watch you guys. Out of all the crap that everybody has been saying, uh, yeah, I got it straight a little a couple of weeks ago oh, it's, by it's okay, a particular man. and I, yeah, I kind of wish I, and he knows who I'm, who he is, and I'm just like, you know what, that's that's his opinion, and that's fine, and I'm and I, I just can't fall into something that's going against what I already believe in. Right. And how I how I got there, you right. know, and uh, because I really got there because of you. Oh, and uh, even though I have had a lot of other people come out there. So I am not going to be completely out of flat earth. I just haven't done any more uh, hangouts. I do want to do a hangout and I'm going to throw a shout out to 
D Marble because I do would love to have him on my show someday. Um, I did have uh, threw in some comments on his last video, so D Marble, if you want to look at it, you can see it. Get all my information. Okay. Drop me a line if you do. Hey, we'll we'll do a hangouts together. I'd love to do that. Okay. And of course, I would invite you know a couple other people to join the panel, of course, because that's kind of what it was. Was. Wes. So that's that's about it. Okay, you were breaking up. Um, all right, man. Yeah, Here's... I got to I, I had to work, so. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks have, for talking to you, Mark. Have fun at the jail cafeteria. We'll talk soon. Absolutely, always do. Okay. Bye bye. All right. Uh, let's grab New York real quick. New York. New York. Hey, New York. Oh, <laughs> don't don't bail on me, New York. Where are you? Yeah. I'm here. Oh, good lord! Can you hear me? You like sleeping? Hello. Can you oh, hear me? On. Oh, don't okay. make me say it! Don't uh, make me phone. say it! This phone sucks. Mark, can you oh, hear Mark me? Can't hear me. I can hear you. Oh Go boy! Back. All right, call me back. You can hear me. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Oh, I hear you. Oh, I hear you. I hear oh you. my god! <laughs> Killing me. <laughs> How can you not hear me? I can hear, uh, dude. We're talking right now. I know. It, I know. Actually... I bet. I'm messing with you. I'm messing with you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to. I'm sorry. It's Halloween. I can't. Oh, uh, is your that house. what's happening? Are, are I, gotta, you out? I gotta mess with you. Are you out in the van trolling for children? Of course. I got my bag of candy. Hell yeah. <laughs> nice. Remember, use like like some twenty pound uh, test line. You put the Snickers on the hook. You throw it long. Absolutely. So yeah. easy. The fat that ones is. are so slow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 one of the, my favorite computer jokes is uh, fat kids lag in real life. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> That's a good one. That's definitely a good one. Anyway, oh, what's, so, uh, up? what's up? Hey, I got, I, got, I got to troll you a little bit. So I hear you and D Marble are really the same person. Oh, don't. What are you kidding? <laughs> of course I am. Oh my God! Well, you know, well, you know one of my favorite, I and, and I, I gotta bring, I gotta bring his name up because this one just threw me the other, the other day. Oh, and by the way, um, oh, it's a horrible joke, but but the peanut gallery said for your Halloween costume, are you dressed up as Kevin Spacey? <laughs> nice. Yeah. Well, you know, hey, the, I the, actually dress like that. Leave me alone. I wear hockey jerseys and trench coats, and I'm a big <laughs> fat guy. So yeah. People <laughs> make reaches as you know troll well not just trolls but you know the conspiracy crowd you know they'll the, when they connect the dots sometimes they take massive leaps me included and my my favorite lately was that patricia steer and tim osman are actually the same people <laughs> it's like what how does that happen it's like he's got uh, he's got a shaved uh, head and we actually have him on video like up close for a long a time of, uh, like it's so so much. She took off all her makeup, and oh my god, and went to the Denver meetup and trolled it, and no one could figure that out, and changed her voice. Oh, I, I was just thrown. It's like, funny. well, dude. Well, and I won't again. I won't say the list, but I mean, I was looking for the <laughs> list of things that I have been accused of over the last two years. It is amazing because they're so they're so widespread that you can't you can only like have two or three of them maybe in a combination the rest is like okay it's either or you can be this or you can be that or you can be this but you know like fireman or astronaut or uh you know pediatrician <laughs> it's like you know one of those you can only be really one of those three you can't be two of the three and definitely not three of the three so anyway so you excited well one week one week oh we're heading out. Oh my God, in. man! Seven days, seven days. I cannot wait. Oh, I need it. I've been yeah. waiting for this for so long. I just, yeah. I can't wait to meet with Daniel, see Candy and Karen again, meet you finally in person. Maybe make him buy me dinner. You know, just have a good time, man. I can't right. wait. I can't right. wait. Hey, Peanut Gallery's got. Yeah, uh, and I, I don't. Oh, oh. sorry. Yeah. Hang on, Peanut Gallery uh, says, happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the light. Who said that? Albus Dumbledore. A little, little Harry nice. Potter reference there. I got one for you. Wait. 
whoever is trying to bring you down is already below you. And that's from Cush and Wisdom. They might be potheads, but that's some good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you know, again, I, for me, everything in moderation. I try, not, I mean, look, we've been, we, our country, I our no problem with it. We, yeah, we've gone in and out of drugs for the longest time. I mean, good Lord, where do you think Bayer made their fortune? And, you know, Coke, why, why do you think it's called Coca-Cola? You know, we right. drug. It, the problem is everything in moderation. Once abuse and sets in. Coke, but, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 a tough it's a tough slide. I what I try to tell people though when it comes to marijuana is, is like look just yeah what what's the what's the term again? I don't smoke. It's like cut back every once in a while. Take it easy cuz you you know people it's all, it's all horse crap. You people should do whatever the hell they want to do. You do whatever the hell you want to do. You're only here once probably. You know, we don't know for sure there's reincarnation, but right. come on. It's, yeah. it's just another control mechanism really. Yeah, I, you know, I mean, yeah, some of these drugs, I mean, obviously, being a heroin addict is not a good thing. Well, no, okay. well, as you know, that's you when, know, it, when when the addiction sets in, that's when it gets a little dicey, because then all of a sudden your priorities change. That's when it's like, okay, you know, I'll steal from anyone. I will lie to anyone. And like, it's, yeah. it's like, so, so yeah. yeah, but at the same time, it's like, look, you know, some people are hardwired to it. Uh, it's uh, I mean, yeah. one, in- and, and I wonder if half the people wouldn't even have gotten that far if shit was legal, right? You know, would right. maybe you know, because it's it's that typical, you know, I can't wait to drink, I gotta wait till I'm 21, I can't wait to drink, and then you're 21, and you're like, yeah, okay, yeah, whatever. Well, heck, you know, the, um, we just want, want what we can't have. The Chris Rock speech they did some years ago was, I think, probably the most telling, which was. He was saying, look, the pharmaceutical in- industry is basically figured out. It's like, OK, let's get them hooked on our drugs because it'll be they'll be government sanctioned. And I mean, the stuff that's out there now is way more powerful than the street, the street drugs. Uh, I remember, was it Prozac when I think it was Prozac when well, that's one of the bigger mood stabilizers. If you try to get off of that, is it Prozac? Crap. I can't remember now. Um, you have to actually it takes like a year. Like, like a year to ramp down off of it. And as you're coming down off of it, they switch you to morphine on the way out. And it's like, holy smokes. I mean, to where I wrote in my survival manual, if, if you're on an antidepressant or an antipsychotic, if, if, you know, if all of a sudden the power goes out, you know that, you know, your prescription's not getting filled anytime soon, you've got to let the group know that, you, you know, you got to cut your dose in half and cut it in half again and hope to God that you can you can get off of it right. before you run out because what happens now is uh, people have will, will have psychotic breaks. I mean, if there was a crisis situation and you had to go six months without a prescription, you you've got to watch those people. Whoever's on, I mean, honestly, if I had people like I think on thirty it. days would be an issue. Yeah, I think thirty. I'm sorry, I think thirty days would would be an issue because I know that's something I noticed. They don't give me my meds. Like they used to. Now it's only 30, 30 uh, days worth of med. Yeah. You know, they yeah. don't want to give you it. And I'm like, dude, this is obviously shit that I'm going to be taking for a long time. Right. Why don't you just give it to me so I don't have to keep coming back? Yeah. But, but by the yeah. way, um, oh, yeah. be, 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 before I let you go, oh, so yeah, that, first, that's my safety tip for people. If anything really, really bad happens and you're in a group of people and you're going to be together for a while, ask politely and say okay is anyone what medications is everybody on because you're not getting your prescriptions refilled and we may or may not give you access to firearms that's the first thing i would do yeah the (laughs) set because you know if somebody all of a sudden you know has has a psychotic break and they have a shotgun in their hand oh my god the um the other thing i want to recommend to people if they have not done so already and i can't believe i completely forgot it was uh it was one of the chats on on skype that reminded me of it was uh i vaxxed has been out on video now for some time and i did not watch it and uh i had finally had the chance to download and watch vaxxed holy smokes boy that'll that'll sober you up real quick uh, it was, yeah. it, I, I already knew the story. I got it, you know, money rules all. And that is, you know, the pharma's big pharma figured out. It's like, look, there's huge money in vaccines and you don't have to do a lot of testing when you issue these things. And like anything, you know, you, you roll out enough products, eventually one of them's going to be defective. And, 
it is coming. It is made it a law in New York State. He, my son, has to have it, and I'm like, motherfucker. Yeah, I don't know yeah. how to get out of it. I, I mean, I the details. I, I, I ruin his life. I will say that the details that I, I that I picked up from it, you know, where basically uh, children fifteen around the fifteen month mark, that's where it's the the riskiest. That is, you know, the be yeah. far and away, okay. and, and that makes sense. That and, makes and, sense. You're full on developing. Right, oh, but but horrible. but the, the the risk went way way down if you waited until three three years. And not to go off on a tear here, real quick, because I, I I do want to pick up one more more call before the break. But it all came down to combination vaccine, which I didn't know, which was oh, called yes. the, the MMR, which is measles, mumps, and rubella. Rubella, crap! I gotta look that up again. Rubella, rubella, I and had it. I had to have it for college. Yeah, three of those in one shot, and it it there was a much higher risk if it was it was fifteen months. It was a much higher risk if you were male, and it was a much higher risk if you were black. And the combination of those three, it's like, whew. and and yeah, they, they like anything like the as you know in the Fight Club reference, which I've mentioned many times, and that is if the cost of the lawsuits settlements is less. Yeah, measles, mumps, yeah. yeah, and oh, sorry, peanut gallery. If the cost of the the settlements is less than the cost of a recall, we don't do a recall, and Absolutely. that's what. And, and in this case, there's no recall because it's too big. There's too the class action lawsuit would be too big. They've gone too far now, basically, and it's going to crush them because the the project the projections now are horrifying of of what's going to happen. But anyway, it's not even logical. It, you know, when you think about it, it's not even logical to give all these kids these things because you're you're not stopping the spread of the disease. No. People can still carry it. You know, I, mean, I know it. it it's upsetting, but at the same time, look in in this country, it did not it did not shock me at all once I heard the details. It's like, of course, that's what we do in anything. You know, the Americans all we always take it too far. We take it as far as we can until somebody gets arrested. And then we then back off. <laughs> and, then, and then even then, it's, the government steps in and finds them, and it's more like, okay, here's your cut. Because right. That money should go to the victims, not the freaking government. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it, yeah, it's all crazy. Anyway, uh, let's, so let's, 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 end on a happy, <laughs> let's end on a happy note. Uh, you're going to be arriving, what, on Wednesday or Tuesday? Uh, yeah, I'll be there Wednesday morning. Okay. I talked to, I emailed David Weiss. He told me he's trying to get people together so they can go to the billboard at on 2 Wednesday. o'clock. Yeah. On two, Wednesday, the 8th. Talk on Wednesday, so, yeah. So I'm, yeah, 2 o'clock. I'm coming in uh, in the evening, uh, early evening on Tuesday. So I will definitely okay. be around for the billboards. Okay, yeah. Right, I, I'll get there Wednesday morning. And uh, and I found a restaurant we could go to. Oh, uh, cool. Chef's Palace. It's, it's like 20 minutes away, nice steak dinners, all kinds of different stuff. It looks good. I think we sounds, should try it. Sounds good, man. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. Me too. Uh, hey, and uh, I, I got a quote, a parting quote. What is it? What's meant to be will always find a way. What's so, meant to be. Remember, everybody. And the quote oh, from the gallery in response is uh, quitting smoking is easy. Quit, the, the quote is quitting right. smoking is easy. I've done it hundreds of times. That's from Mark Twain. <laughs> I was going to say, it's probably go after yourself. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. I, gotta, I, I love it. I'll see you. I'm sure I'll talk to you later, but I'll see you in a week. All right, man. Awesome. See you then. All right. Have a good night. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. All right, Texas two five four. You're gonna be the last call before the final break. What uh, what's going on? Hey, Mark. You gotta it's... love the other Mark. Oh, it's you again, isn't it? It's me again. You told me to right. back. All right. No, no. You did say you called back and you were patient. I actually saw you on the list for a, you were up there for a little while. So what's what's going on? Well, I was just thinking, you know. So many of us out there, and there's very few of us really wanting to like go, go south, just south, south, south. 
because there's a lot of us out there that have a lot of money. I don't, but there is some of us right. that have good money. Yeah. And we can do that. Why not yeah. just go south, 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 and if you keep going south, so it starts saying north again. Well, it's not that easy. You remember, uh, anyone that has that sort of money, okay, you've got to have, I mean, there's money and then there's money. If you have, uh, you know, buying an airline ticket or even a first class airline ticket, that's one level of money. Having your own private jet, that's a whole nother thing because that's what you would really need if you were thinking of taking a trip. I'm, I'm assuming you'd take to uh, somewhere near Antarctica. And if you have that sort of money, those people generally like to don't want to be fine. They don't want to get in trouble. So, and plus, here's the other thing: even let's say you had a private jet, you'd have you know you have a pilot that you have to pay. Would you be willing to you know is that pilot loyal enough to where he's going to disregard his instruments and the GPS system and ignore military when they try to tell him to turn around because he's in restricted airspace? Probably not. You got to actually be the the ultimate thing. Would you be your own pilot? Uh, you know, if you could fly your own plane and you had your own plane, then you could pull it off. Which is one of the reasons, and you know, we're, that really, really funnels down the number of people that qualify for something like that. Which is one of the reasons why the South has never been fully discovered with the civilian population. Because it just we're we're just not there's not enough people set up that way. Look, Bill Gates doesn't fly his own plane. Yeah, he might be able to to uh, you know fly in in that direction. But if a government says, "Look, we're going to find you into the ground," we'll just take a billion dollars tomorrow if you you even think about doing this. Plus, if he did get to a point where he saw something he shouldn't have, the military would still intervene and say, "You don't get to talk about this." Well, yeah, and then they'll look for leverage. Sorry, I mean I could go on. You know, I've I've thought about this thirty different ways, and it always. Well, I, I totally agree with you. I mean, they're going to shut you down. They're going to try every which way to shut you down. But maybe not do planes. Maybe you know. Too too far. Too far. Possible. Meaning the the distance from the Antarctic coastline. Oh crap! We're going to music here. Holy smokes! I gotta say goodbye to you again. I was doing all the talking. I'm sorry. We'll talk. Call back to me in the last segment if you want. Okay. <laughs> no hate. No hype. No, 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 no fear. We are T. Welcome back to Strange World, part four of four. Last segment, your last chance to call in. And that phone number, <clears throat> excuse me, is 720-897-6111, 720-897-6111, or 213-233-3998. And it's call-in show. Let's grab, oh, I don't know, how about 504 area code? 504, you are on with Strange World. What's going on? Hey, how's it going? Um, I'm Dionisi. I'm actually uh, calling you from Salem. My parents live in New Orleans. Mm. That's why it's the uh, 504. My mom's got us all in the same plan. (laughs) Hey, I wanted to tell you, I saw you. uh, I met you at, I forgot, in uh, the Seattle meetup with uh, Marble a couple months ago. Oh, cool. I came in late because I got off work. I drove all the way from um, from Salem, but you guys were uh, still there hanging out. Oh, gotcha. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, I wanted to say a couple things. Mm-hmm. I first, uh, by reading Sam Robotham's uh, book mm-hmm. in 1996, that's when I first uh, uh, began to believe that the, uh, the earth is flat. Sure. And... Um, uh, oh, I wanted to uh, just say um, 
Yeah, I know you've got the conference coming up next week. I didn't want to. I just wanted to mention briefly. Sure. It's a coincidence, but uh, I think it's. Does it start on the seventh of November? Is it? Uh, well, it start. I'm I'm heading down on the seventh, but it doesn't actually start until the ninth. Okay. Well, at any rate, it's on the same week as the hundredth anniversary of the Bolshevik Revolution. I have heard this. Very interesting. And you're right. Russia Today has been kind of publicizing that. Not that it's tied to the flat Earth thing, but yeah, interesting. Evie, what is this? Uh, what I wanted to uh, cover uh, several things, what? I guess, could, but uh, I guess flat Earth related. I wanted to that? put out uh, just uh, briefly a couple <laughs> things that are perhaps um, I'd make a new one. Uh, not as uh, uh, not as emphasized or not as well known one uh, perspective. Uh, that is the um, I think the model for the modern flat Earth movement, which, which is Robotham's, which came up in the uh, the nineteenth century. Mm-hmm. Uh, the ancient flat Earth models, which are both, I guess, uh, they have in common both the early Christian, which is uh, largely um, it's it's known, it's in academic books and all, and mm-hmm. early some early Christian works and scholars know about it. Uh, names like Cosmos Indico Plustis, and uh, there's a couple others, like of Enoch, and uh, some. And also the the, uh, the ancient uh, pagan, um, I mean early uh, primitive flat Earth. Uh, all me uh, to tell you it's not from all over the world, but these it's have some flat. common properties, like a mountain in the north uh, mentioned with the biblical. It's in Isaiah 14, and the got the uh, the sun, moon, and uh, stars orbiting around uh, once a, once a day. Uh, but I guess I'll use the uh, the Christian. The Christian uh, uh, view of the post uh, is like you know, he is so. uh, most represented. Uh, the Earth Earth is flat, right? Yeah. He was a, yeah. an Egyptian yeah. monk so, who lived in the 6th century AD <laughs> during the reign of the Roman Emperor Justinian, the East Roman Emperor. Mm-hmm. Um, he lived in a monastery in uh, Sinai, Egypt. The first half of his life, he was a... Um, a merchant mariner, and he had a lot of geographical knowledge. He went to places in the Indian Ocean, Ethiopia, India, and he became a monk and settled down. And he wrote this flat earth book, which was called Christian Topography, which was published in AD 548. Mm-hmm. And that's the, uh, the chief book, which is uh, represents the views of the early church fathers, Scholars today, more so than not, the trend is to say that this guy was a wacko or he's he and just a couple others were uh, the minority. And they only view they were the only ones that believe that, though, in 19th century historians of science and before uh, the view was that that was the mainstream at that time and even mid 20th century. Historians of science like Arthur Kessler, his book, The Sleepwalkers, they view that uh, from the time of the, around the time of Constantine the Great, or I've even heard by the mid-third century before Christianity became uh, legal, uh, there was just the rising tide of its influence made uh, flat earthism the, uh, the mainstream and from that time until the ru- the rise of Islam in the seventh and especially the the eighth century, it was a political military thing in the seventh century. But that resurrected the rise of Islam. That is, a lot of Greek uh, 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 sciences, both good and bad, including the spherical, and that was what resurrected the uh, globe idea, specifically Claudius Ptolemy. Because the the pagans toward their latter days in the Roman Empire, mm-hmm. beginning with the Greeks, especially Claudius Ptolemy, who lived in the second century A.D., they revived a lot of the uh, the globe ideas. Uh, for, mm-hmm. Beginning with the Greeks, like uh, Aristotle, and this was uh, crushed by the influence of uh, Christianity. And though it uh, it start, uh, Islam revived it. I'm not saying there wasn't any flat earth uh, Muslims, but it, 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 
it had that uh, they resurrected a lot of the uh, some of the Greek sciences with the, which disagreed with this contradicted the spirit of uh, Christian Christian associated uh, science generally. Right. This um, uh, right after uh, the Justinian's time. Anyway, this uh, Cosmos and the Coplustus, I could point at a couple things. There's a there's in Jordan, in the Christian capital of Jordan is Madaba, and there's a mosaic on the, uh, there's a map of the world that's on the floor of a church there, the St. George uh, Church. It's an ancient church. Mm-hmm. And there was uh, scholars, I think, uh, I've got their book, I, it's uh, Aliata and uh, Pissarillo. Um, anyway, these, uh, this book is, I, I bought it when I was in Jerusalem, I visited, but the the cheat the majority of their research not exclusively they're very knowledgeable but it's based on archives from the Greek Orthodox Patriarchate of Jerusalem mm-hmm. and uh, they say that uh, Cosmos commissioned this map and it's got four rivers it's got the Garden of Eden in the east with four rivers like it describes in the Book of Genesis there's sure. one river that splits into four river heads that flows westward and they grow underground which they've got distributaries, which account for the underground river systems in this world. Mm -hmm. But the four chief uh, strings of those rivers, as it says in the book of Genesis, they resurface to form four rivers in this world, the Tigris and Euphrates, which flow to a rock, but they surface, they originate in uh, eastern Turkey. The other are the Ganges in India and the the Blue Nile in Ethiopia. Got There's it. a blue hey, and white Nile. The white Nile's... Oh, go hate, ahead. Yeah, no, I hate, hate to do this to you, unfortunately, but it, it is a call-in show, and, and I do have to get to other callers. I, I love what you've been saying. It, it's great stuff, um, but we're probably going to have to talk another time because I... I okay, I can... okay. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll pinch it short. I, I could go on with the history. I, I, I know, I the, know. Uh, Okay, I'll, I'll stop with the history. I'll just say uh, one, the one fact that's not usually mentioned. Okay. The, uh, there's, an, there's an outer earth from the Christian view, not a bunch of rings. It's got four edges, east, west, north, and south, mm-hmm. and the dome of the world sits on this. That's Cosmos's blue view, and there's four uh, – along the four edges are the 12 storehouses of the winds, three on each side. Uh, but I'll just leave it at that. Okay. And, um but it's uh, interesting science, the early Christian view, which is intricate and elegant, and it's little known. Cool. Awesome, man. Well, thank you. Uh, it was an interesting history lesson so far. And do feel free to call in again, and uh, we'll, we'll talk soon, okay? Well, we'll do. We'll do. Appreciate it. Thank okay. you. Okay. Bye-bye. All right. Let's grab, ooh, this looks like 818 area code. 818, are you there? Hi. Hey. Hi, Mark. Hi. Kenny here. Hey. Hey. Uh, what can I do for you? Let me say. Let me say. Um, you, you, one of your callers earlier talk about deception earlier. Yeah. I got two names for you, uh, David Wilcock and Doctor Stephen Greer. I've heard of them. There you go. They've been talking about, you know, planets and space and. Oh, all this stuff that all this stuff before Flat Earth was around, you know what I mean? Yep, yep. And, and uh, man, they just, you know, before Flat Earth, there was nothing else to listen to. Put it that way. There you go. That's <laughs> you know, true. So, I, I, so I Flat Earth, yeah, Flat Earth just capped all that stuff, especially when you, when when you when you really look into space. I mean, you know, the the you know the the, the fabrics of space is impossible, like you said, you know. Agreed. Oh, I mean, there's so many things about space we could tear apart, not the least of which isn't, uh, you know, rocket propulsion, which is, you know, when you when you run, your feet push off the ground. When you swim, you're pushing against the water. Uh, jet, you know, jet engines, you know, the propellers, you know, uh, and, the, yeah. and the engines themselves, they push against the air. But if in the vacuum of space, what are you pushing off against? You know, mm-hmm. every every action has to have an equal and opposite reaction. So how are you pulling that off? And that, that's just one of many many examples. So right. yeah, there's there's you. one uh, there's, there's one lady that was 
that they used to really make a lot of sense. I like listening to her. She wasn't about space. It was more about dimensions and like, you know, how you talk about karma and all that stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> her, her name, rest in peace, was Dolores Cannon. If you ever come across I've her I've heard stuff. of her. I've heard of her. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, her stuff is really good. I mean, it, it really it really puts you into a place of like, which one of these humans are you? You know what right. I mean? Where do you fit in? Uh, you know, it's interesting. And one more thing. Um, uh-huh. I don't know where I saw this. I saw something this week. I don't remember where it was, but something about, I don't know when either, but Japan fired a laser into space and it bounced off. Well, I don't know if it bounced off, but that's what I'm assuming it did off the dome. And it landed somewhere in Chicago. Have yeah, you ever heard of yeah, anything yeah. Like that? That's 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 was at least a year ago and i remember okay, that okay. they were doing a laser test and we shouldn't have seen it over here basically right you know, right yeah and and they said that they saw the glow in chicago and it's like okay how, how exactly does that work very interesting right so you know one one way i kind of uh you know when i talk to people about st- something I, I just kind of shut them down right away i'll be like okay put it this way if me and you start digging a hole right now, and if it's possible, if we dig a hole straight down, you know, to Australia or wherever below us, I show them like a little, you know, globe, you know, give them a little example. Yep. You know, are we going to flip over? If it's possible, are we going to flip over and not know it? And then they think about it and then like, dang, man, you know what I'm thinking about it now? You know, right. I, I mean, geez, gosh. I hear you. Uh, anyway, I totally hear you, man. Safe trip next week. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, until we speak again, stay flat, okay? Stay flat always. All right. Bye-bye, buddy. Right. And before I pick up uh, 512 area code and then hopefully 626 uh, before the show ends, uh, I'd like to apologize real quick because, yes, I forgot, and you can just imagine the Joe Jackson. Yes, that was Joe Jackson stepping out mm-hmm. from his album Night and Day. And, and this is why I have a peanut gallery in the background to remind me of things when I get distracted. And so I will try not to let that happen again. Meantime, let's grab 512 five, one, five, one, just hung up. Oh, because I think he was just calling in to listen to the show, maybe? I recognize that number. All right, fine, 512. Oh, wait, 512's back. All right, let's, let's grab him. All right, 512, are you, you calling in to listen or are you calling in to talk? Yeah, it's five one two. I'm calling in to talk. Hey, what's going on? I know who this. Is. Hey, Mark, I know who... hey, you know who this is. Yeah, I just wanted to say on behalf of the whole flat Earth community, I think I can pretty say that congratulations on pulling this whole thing off. You kind of been the the anchor of this whole deal, and you worked tirelessly for years and years. And uh, don't think that work is not gone unnoticed by all of us. Oh well, thank you. And again, it's not about me. It's about the the mass of people. It's gonna that's gonna be at this conference, and I'm so and just the the community at large, the people that even can't be there. It is it has gotten really cool. And what I try to, in fact, I told a lady who was interviewing me yesterday. I said, look, it's I'm just on the ride with everybody else. Uh, the only difference is yeah, you're I, a humble guy. That's what that's what we appreciate the humility, and that's the that's the kind of honesty. I know there's been a lot of you know, dramas, uh, you know, circling, but everybody who's been here from the beginning, we know it's really yeah. obvious. And that's the whole thing. You know, the flat earth, the reason it can't be debunked thing is because it's flat. Duh. You know, yeah. it's the DUH yeah. test as, yeah. uh, as yeah. uh, uh, Patricia said. But, and, and the other thing is, is that, that the further we go into this, there's a certain confidence that we have as a community because we back each other up. So, if, you know, I've, I've even pulled off five minute conversions. I've actually right pulled off, and it was strictly due to the level of of um, confidence I had. Not only that, I had you know all my holsters were full. I had everything, and also you know here's the other thing I want to remind the community: keep in mind we're flat earthers. We're not flat skyers, or we're none of this stuff. Your arguments can be remained on the earth, and that's right. where it's simple. It can you see, you know, the guy uh, was he was Captain Bill Kirk. God love the guy. He was on with Rob Skiba. He did one on weather, and then he did another one on flat earth. It was pulled down the next day. I didn't get a chance to mirror it. I don't think anybody did uh, at this point. But he, he, he basically, you know, he, this guy has weather consultation for companies so they, they can the whole year, you know, whether or not it's going to be a cold winter and just Walmart needs sleeping bags in September or December. Right. Like I said, they pulled the whole thing off and he was gone instantly. So that kind of shows you, you know, whenever you say, well, Mark, what's happening? Why is everybody going against you? It's because you struck a chord. You struck a nerve. And we've gone from being an irritant to like fire ants. 
know right. what I'm saying? And now right. we're a problem. <laughs> and now yep. they're going to bring out the big guns, but it's it's too late because the firing communities are are, are everywhere. Oh yeah. And, um, you know, like the Fremen, you think there's just a few wandering around out there. Nah. But when yeah. the day comes, that's when they all pop up like whack-a-moles. It'll be an yeah. infinite field of whack-a-mole flat earthers, right? Exactly. Yeah. Oh, and just, then one it, other one. Go ahead. Oh, well, you've been asking this question about, and I, I've been wanting to go with you on this because I feel like it's an issue we need to, to get down. But you talk about why does the compass not flip over, you know, when you head down south? Well, the dartboard, the compass, is, you know, the whole thing is one big dartboard, Earth, you know, uh, flat Earth, the dinner plate, um, you know, inverted Frisbee. I like that one because there's a built-in ice wall on the inverted Frisbee. Nice. Plus, I like to play Frisbee. Yeah. Um, so what it is is if, if the North Pole, right, the center, as you were, is you know, it's called magnetic north, which means the north end of a, a compass needle is actually south, right. so that it points north, right? So we're really looking at spokes on a wheel. So no matter where you go with that compass, it's always really going to point north. So all these poor southern explorers, the reason they had problems, if they believed in a globe model, that, that there was another you know pole or another spoke down there, a hub, if you will, that they were going to. And really, they were going to an outer rim in which everywhere is the south pole. Doesn't matter where you go. Land here, right. you're on the south pole. Land here, you're at the south pole, right? Right, right. Oh, that's, Absolutely. That's my little rant. That's my little rant. Good. It's good. I like it. So, in any okay, well, because you'd, you'd actually asked, you'd said on several occasions, why does the compass not flip over? So that's what I'm going to give you that one. All right, all right. Well, why not? Uh, sure. You're, you're a good man. You're a good, good man. Thinking. Well, here's the thing to the community. Like I said, when you go to the conference, if there's anybody listening, you're going to be attending the conference. Unfortunately, I will not, but I'll try to get all the streaming and whatnot done. Um, I'm an older fellow, so I don't have all the uh, internet set out of the younger folks do. But um, I do have some experience, which helps, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so in any case, keep in mind, like I said, let everybody out there, it's about the earth, right? Don't let the sky questions all that crap bother you. Like I said, people will give you crap for saying it's a display. Well, we can't give you enough information about it. It's too far away. Uh, but right here on the earth, we can look and say, okay, where is the curvature? Where? As our Zibron famously yep, said Zibron, many, many yep. years ago. Yep. <laughs> awesome awesome all right uh, you, got, you got enough time for another caller or two i do <laughs> okay well then i'm going to sign off and say you know god bless all flat earth community from top to bottom all right all right thanks Everybody man all right talk to you soon you have a good one okay bye-bye sure, you bet all right let's grab uh, alhambra california and this may be the last one or maybe not i might be able to pick up uh florida after this maybe we'll see all right six two six you got i don't know three four minutes what do you got hey what's up man how's it going hey it's going pretty good what's uh what's going on with you uh nothing much just checking stuff out i dude i missed most of your show right now to be dead honest because i was on a hangout with uh karen on sun and moon with uh bro sanchez and santos and marlena and candy and dude, there was wow. a whole there was a big old panel dude wow that's awesome uh yeah it was quite interesting oh uh and what's his name uh dread was there as wow. well oh, that's, that is an interesting uh, panel holy smokes yeah <laughs> it was quite fun uh but and on top of that let's see what else uh oh i sent you an email about the whole helicopter thing with uh Vegas. right right did you happen right. to check that out? i did see that and then a couple of people sent it after you sent it and curious yeah interesting little wrinkle and then of uh, course you know today we got the whole new york thing which is tied to isis apparently so that'll be fun the next few days wait hold on i've i've been delivering packages and been on youtube most of the day oh really or not on youtube on the hangout oh uh, i should i should totally mess with you and say well yeah because the chrysler building was destroyed no it wasn't uh some car ran into <laughs> uh ran down a bike path and supposedly killed eight and wounded 12 and they've got a picture of a bearded islamic man and said that he was shot by police but he lived we don't have any names or anything like that i would imagine they're gonna say he died in the hospital who knows but it's like whatever i mean i we're I, being americans we don't even flinch at eight people it's like eight people come on <laughs> that's, that's what's that yeah that's that's not much. Well, you know what? The whole helicopter thing with Vegas, it actually kind of lends credence to the fact of uh well, you heard about like Bellagio and a couple of the other hotels, they had windows shot out around them 
and they're really far away from uh, the Mandalay Bay. Sure. So they were wondering how in the world bullets were hitting uh, <laughs> these windows. Yeah. Like, yeah. where was that coming from? H- hence the, ho- the helicopter. Uh, if there was a, yeah, if there was a helicopter zipping around, they would have had the, uh, the aerial advantage. Yeah. So it's I, quite I interesting. That. Yeah, I, again, you know, the, the truth community never stops. We They just keep keep digging and digging and digging. Uh, if you get a chance, if you haven't seen it already, look at the um, uh, the lasers in your neck of the woods, the, um, the, the energy weapons in Northern California. There's some, a few frames of silent and and but bright laser flashes that, you know, near those places where the fires were set. I thought those were very curious. Oh, wow, that's. That's worth looking into. Yeah, yeah, check that out. They, those just came out recently, and you know, because there was a lot of cell phone footage of people walking around as the fires first started before they drove away, and you know, wouldn't take much directed energy weapon, micro bursts of uh, a ton of wattage, but very, but very little, little firing rate. Anyway, uh, I'm thinking of picking up one more call. Be- wait, wait, maybe yes, one more call before I go. Um, any any shout outs you want to give? Uh, yeah, just to Candy, to Mark, or Zulu1, uh, to people out there listening, uh, dude, a bunch of the people that listen to you evidently have been subscribing to me as well. Oh, nice. Uh, cause uh, in the comments they say, yeah, I heard you on Mark's show. So, oh, um, cool. kind of a dead giveaway where they heard me. Oh. Uh, but yeah, uh, channel's growing pretty good. Um, good. and it's really awesome just meeting people across the world about this. Uh, it's just, yeah. it's still kind of really blowing my mind. Yeah. Dude, yeah. think about this. In 20 years, when they write the history books again, mm-hmm. like, who are they going to write about? Think about that, that. Exactly. Well, we'll have to see. I'm hoping that it won't be anybody weird that comes along that we don't know about. Anyway, I got to run, but uh, we'll we'll talk again real soon, okay? All right. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay. Bye-bye. All right, we're going to pick up Florida, and that'll be the last call of the evening. It'll be a short one. So 727 area code, Florida, United States. You're it. You got it like two minutes. What do you got? All right, I'm on. What's going on, brother? Hey, what's going on? Awesome talking to you. This is Jose from Florida. Hey, uh, Jose. I'm born, from raised in Puerto, I'm born and raised in Puerto Rico. I've been okay. here for about 12 years. Mm-hmm. Uh, I wish I kind of knew about all this ladder thing because uh, my uncle house is really high. I don't know how high in the mountains. And I could see like three towns from the viewpoint I was. Nice. Uh, but there's some little islands. There's, I know it's Vieques. It's a, a big town in Puerto Rico. It's, I think, it's seven or eight miles away. You can see the whole thing, you know, and then plus the horizon further away. Uh, so you always you always uh, knew. I would say that. Yeah. Of, of course. Uh, and then is that north part? You know, is that Bermuda Triangle, and it's one of the hot spots of people seeing unidentified flat objects and shit. And I was such a big fan of fantasy and all the worlds and how the universe works. And from seven months ago, since I found out about this, I just stumbled across it. I wasn't even looking for it. Cool. So, cool. That's it was awesome. mind blowing, brother. <laughs> I know. I say it was the same way for me. I was going, no way, no way. And then one night, up, uh, I get it now. I get it, and it was right in front of me the whole yeah. time. Uh, any yeah, any shout outs? Because we're we're going to be closing the show in about thirty seconds. Uh, any anybody you want to sh- shout out to? Shout out! I'm on my own on this own. My wife speak on me like, stop looking at that shit. You're so deep inside the rabbit hole. So I got a new little YouTube channel, No Way Jose, with dash and dash between No Way Jose. Okay. Uh, I just got two little videos of my waking cool. up. Yeah. Okay. All right. You know, uh, That's... I just tell people we should flat earth and love to everybody, brother. All right. All right, man. See ya. And uh, you guys come back in two weeks. We'll see you right here. Same flat time, same flat channel.
and a model of the flat geocentric earth. <laughs> I had to make a new one. What are you doing? <laughs> Dancing in the